Nikanon reveals he does not follow government child support rules. <laughs> TV host, rapper, and actor Nikanon may be a, a millionaire, but that doesn't mean he is willing to pay child support. As he explained in a new interview on the Jason Lee podcast, Nick Cannon has 12 children, but he doesn't pay child support for any of them, at least not in any official capacity. Speaking about previous reports that he doesn't support his children financially, he said, and I quote, it's funny because there was n some narrative like Nick Cannon doesn't pay child support. What I was saying was the child support system that is run by the government. He continued, my money is day money. They can have whatever they want. My account is their account, and there's a lot in there, so we ain't gonna run out. Nick Cannon, who reportedly has a net worth of $50 million, added that he does not care about protecting his assets after welcoming 12 children. He said, and I quote, I believe true currency is your energy. I wish I could make a contract that says you cannot take this much of my energy when you leave. Money comes and goes. I always tell people money doesn't make you happy. Happy makes you money. So um, I'm always going to be good and every dollar that I make is for my family." End quote. Nick also noted that the six women he has children with, Mariah Carey, Brittany Bell, A.B. De La Rosa, Alyssa Scott, Lanisha Cole, and Brita C. can have whatever they want whenever they ask for. And that's having 12 children with six different women has made him emotionally unavailable to attend to any relationships. <laughs> I, and, he quote, and he says, I quote, I don't want to sacrifice for any individual, he said. I want to sacrifice for my children and that's about it. But I can't give time, energy, love to somebody I just met. I don't want no new friends. I don't want no new relationships because I value the people that are in my life so much. And I'm already spread thin enough to where I got to be ready to be attentive to that, end quote. Q. I'm not available. You're a liar. I doubt it. So you see this thing now, eh? I've also learned that um, Father Abraham, <laughs> aka Nikano, <laughs> like whatever I say, I don't take him seriously. Because yes. the same way he'll say, oh, I'm going to go I'm and do surgery. Yeah. I'm going to go and do surgery and I'm not going to have kids. I'm going to get a vasectomy. And next to me, no, we're hearing congratulations on the new year. I don't take him seriously. I still expect him for some very odd reason to still have a couple more baby yeah. mamas. Even when they reach 10, if you come, they calm down. <laughs> but, nah, come on. You don't pass 10, huh? Nah, 11, no, 10 uh, baby mamas. Oh, 10 baby mamas. Oh, oh he's still on like 6. 6, yeah. 6 uh, and maybe some on the way because he likes to yet. shock us. Yeah. <laughs> um, I just feel like I just hope and pray in future because what he's doing now, people will refer to all of this. Yeah. It's looking like they've set trap for him. Yeah. Because people want to believe that a black entertainer would not be able to take care of all his children and he's making it worse by bringing a whole lot of people in and he's saying it's right now he's sweet and all mushy he's readily available he's there when they need him he's, he's always there for the kids and right now some people are looking for loopholes that hmm let's give this guy time one baby mama will soon complain but everybody is civil nobody, nobody has said is, anything yeah right that trap and oh, okay. the trap is stop Talking, they cannot stop talking. Stop talking. Yeah, like ah. stop, stop responding to everything that you, ah. you have to respond to, except he's enjoying the clout. But, I think so. Yeah, I think he's just enjoying the clout. Because, I mean, you see, the government is not, especially the American government, is not a government. They don't domestic. play. And then you come out and you say, I'm not following the government rules. Okay. I'm dear for them. Wow. Their money is my money. My money is their money. Wow. Ah, but he's telling you he has enough. He said he did, yeah. Okay, wow. that's the trap. He this did, this, yeah. this interview now, when one baby mama starts shouting, and they now want to, yeah, they'll they now come out, out and we say. We thought you said. I, I think uh, I think you know like black entertainers in America, like the ones that have gone through courts and all that stuff. Future, they should they should, <laughs> they should have like an organization, a WhatsApp group. Yes, like they guy. Send him a message, like guy. Ah, uh, be wise, oh, money, be careful. Money, money. Yeah. What what were you thinking about when when you said clout? I stumbled on an interview where he said, uh, "What's this guy's name? Bruno Mars." Yeah. Has more hit songs or has better songs than Beyonce? So Nick Cannon will be Nick Cannon. Is all I'm going to say. He's always shooting Cannon. So. Like I mean, I, oh I, yeah. I, I stumbled <laughs> on an interview Cannon. where so a, a lady was escorting him to his trailer where he parked. And was asking him questions about being a baby father to father Abraham, yeah. So like, oh, is there a new baby mama? 
And then he turns around. He wasn't yes. answering her. Yes. Then he turns around and that. says, Are you a um, person? Would you like to be? Yeah, I saw ah. that. I saw that. Too. Hey! <laughs> Father Abraham. <laughs> uh, yeah, sorry. The funny thing is that the woman did not respond. She just was. She, she could was have stunned. responded <laughs> in order. Oh, maybe they don't run now. Uh... Who knows? What? Okay.